I go, Vista. My name is Liz Hernandez from fifth grade, and I will be reading Christopher Pumpkin by Sue Hendra and Paul Lynette, illustrated by Nick E. On Snaggletooth Lane in Spooky Spooksville was a dark, creepy castle perched high on the hill. Deep in that castle, by the glow of the fire, sat a wicked old witch with a burning desire to throw a huge party, the scariest yet one that her friends would never forget. There's too much to do, it'll drive me berserk. How can I find, now who can I find that will do all the work? She looked all around, then what did she spy? But a big pile of pumpkins she bought for a pie. They could be useful and scary as well. I'll bring them to life with the help of a spell. She was making an array and having a ball. As they sprang into life, she gave names to them all. Gnarly, grizzly, grunty roar, knuckle to pink face, and maybe one more. The witch raised her wand for one final go. There were sparkles and glitter, and then a voice said, Hello, I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. I'm so happy to be here. Group hug, everyone. He stretched out his arms and gave them a grin and outshone the warmth and the kindness within. Oh no, screeched the witch, what on earth did I make? You're supposed to be scary, I've made a mistake. Now hang on a minute, said Christopher P. I'm sure I'll fit in, just you wait and see. All right, not the witch, and there's so much to do. But Christopher Pumpkin, I'll be watching you. Now get on with your work and make decorations. I want horrible, ghastly, frightful creations. Did someone say decor? That's right up my street. Forget about tricks and prepare for a treat. There was lifting and shifting and huffing and grunting, but while others hung cobwebs, Chris hung up bunty. Then along came the witch, work harder, buffoon, but instead of that lantern, Chris chose balloons. The horrified pumpkins all scuttled away. They needed to find party music to play. My favorite music is howling and screaming, said Gnarly the pumpkin, his scary eyes gleaming. I'm sorry, said Chris, but that sounds bizarre. Let's all have a sing song. I brought my guitar. Now for the food, it was time to begin. So they stood around the cauldron and talked and things in. First, some earwax, then hair from a yeti a poisonous bug, and some moldy spaghetti. The result was rat pizza, all sprouting with hair, and stinky green cheese made from old underwear, some hot curry slugs, fried spicy snakes. Then in walked our crick with some pink berry cake. This just isn't working. I think you'll agree, said the witch as she glared down at Christopher P. I've had quite enough. You're not part of this group. If you can't be scary, I'll turn you to soup. You've got till the morning. Have I made myself clear? Poor Christopher nodded, frozen with fear. I don't want to be soup or a pie or a plan. I'll stay up all night and think of a plan. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun, but there must be a way I can scare everyone. He worked through the night, never taking a break. But the clock, it was ticking. Then the witch would awake. The morning arrived, and the pumpkins all stared at Christopher's bed. He's gone, they declared. I suppose that it's better he went without fuss. There was really no chance he could ever scare us. Along came the witch. Now out of my way, my guests are arriving. The party day. So poor Chris had vanished, or so it was seen. But then from outside came an almighty gleam. It's horrid. It's nasty. This just isn't funny. Please somebody stop him. I want my mummy. There were unicorns skipping balloons on the ground, pink fluffy kittens and sparkles galore. There were marshmallow pups piled up in mountains. Strawberry milkshake was squirting from fountains. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. But before we could finish, the witch shouted, Run! Wait, don't you like it? Chris called with delight. 
Well, one thing for sure, I scared them all right. <laughs>